Happy April. Hope everybody's having a good good spring so far. If you're in, um, I guess that's Northern Hemisphere. If you're in the Southern Hemisphere, I hope your fall is going well. Oof, snow. Snow in April. I suppose that's not that unusual. I grew up in the very far north, and we had snow in April all the time. But now I live in an area where that's not true. Hmm. I mean, snow's kind of wet. It's just the cold variety. I've heard that, um, well, England, I guess. Okay, so I've I've heard that the the weather there is fairly, fairly mild, as a result of being surrounded by the ocean. Let's see, is this everybody? Let's assume it's everybody. Uh, so, welcome, variable. Thanks, Nara. Um, liquid sunshine, that's a good one. Uh, we have similar things here in, in the US. I, I live in the, the Northwest portion of the, of the US and it is, I've heard that it is very similar in climate to, to uh, the UK. Um, okay, so, uh, updates. I know I promised you specifics on Premium Plus, uh, this time around or this month, and all I can do is beg forgiveness and say next month. So this coming month, um, we had to, we had to push our, our dates out a little bit, um, largely because, the the upgrade uh, scenario was sticky. Um, we're not exactly sure what that's going to look like, uh, or we weren't. We have now gotten approval for how to do that. Um, so this is the the idea that let's say you're annual and you're six months into your annual and you want to become premium plus um, instead of just premium. What do we charge you, uh, and what do you get, and what is your review date? Uh, at that point, and there were a bunch of different ways that we could have gone there. Um, and uh, the direction that we're going, if you are curious, um, and you may be, is that what we'll do is we will maintain your current review dates. So your current billing cycle will stay unchanged uh, and you will be charged a prorated amount um, for the rest of the six month contract. Um, and you'll just be premium plus for the next six months. Um, and then, you know, it'll, once the, the contract renews, uh, you know, you'll be on a normal billing cycle again. Um, so, but there was, there were other ways that we could have done that. We could have said, um, you know, Hey, uh, okay. You want to be premium plus and you're currently premium and you've got six months left on your premium. Like, okay, we will just create a premium plus annual contract for you that start, you know, we'll bill again a year later and we'll credit back the six months of premium that you've already paid for. And that just seemed more, more difficult to understand than it needed to be, even though it might have been easier to, uh, to do programmatically. Um, so we're, we're doing things a little bit harder uh, in order to make things uh, easier to, to kind of grok. Um, boop -doo 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 -doo. It, Lucy, it doesn't tell you what Premium Plus offers. It just means that I haven't gotten to a point yet where I can announce what Premium Plus offers because we were still working out uh, other details. Is that, is that acceptable for now? <laughs> I can't tell if you're actually upset about this or just a little bit. Um, 
sort of. I I don't have a good. So here's the thing, right? Like all of these happen. All of these things happen across a bunch of different teams, right? So it's not just the engineering team. It's not just the product team. It's also the marketing team. It's it's the legal team, and it's uh, you know the support teams. All of these teams need to be aligned and ready to move when we start releasing details about big things like this. Do I know the details? Yes, I know them. In fact, everybody with a Linden name at this table knows the details. We just can't tell you because we can't, um, you know, the, the support teams and the legal teams and the marketing teams need to put all of their ducks in a row as well. And they're kind of in lockstep with the engineering side. Uh, so, I can't release those details until, you know, the really the marketing team has had a chance to release those details. Um, so you'll hear it, I promise. Soon, we are targeting for release in May. Um, so, you know, like, it'll happen before. What we wanted to offer might not be. Why does this timeline? Uh, can you use more words? I still, I think I still need more, more context there. I'm not sure I understand the question. Uh, hope it not May 1st, think more end of May. Uh, Lucy, some things may have been cut from the package, but they're not going to get cut from the package from here on out. Um, I mean, it depends on when you're asking, right? Like two years ago, we had a different package than we've got today. Um, some things were cut, some things were added. You don't even know what it is yet. How can you even say? Mars, I agree. Uh, I, I would love to, to start talking more. Um, I mean, like, here are the types of things that, that are going to happen. Um, there will be more stipends for uh, for premium plus. There will be larger land grants. There will be um, larger sign-up bonuses. There will be uh, reduced fees on certain things. There will be uh, more, um, like more groups, for example. And we think that's going to be a bigger, um, you know, a bigger thing. So I, I can't give you the exact numbers yet because we can't release those until they're ready for all the teams to have them released. Um, but it'll be those types of things. You know, it's more of everything. Uh, it's more good things. Right, yeah, the cost is another thing that I, I can't I can't say right off the bat. It'll be more. <laughs> well, Lucy, I'm glad I'm meeting your expectations. Uh, let's see here. Would it be close to double? Eh, it might be close to double. You're getting, I will say you're getting close to double the stuff um, as a result. Mm-hmm. 
In fact, in many cases, you're getting more than double. So think about those, those various categories that I just talked about and double what premium currently offers and you'd be close. In many cases, if you're off, it's because it's less or because it's more, I should say, right? Like you're getting more than double. The stipends, for example, will be more than double what a premium stipend is. Um, anyway, so that's that, uh, grandfathered accounts will have to, I mean, there's, there's going to be no grandfathering of premium plus. It's a brand new offering. So if you want to, if you want to upgrade to premium plus, then you, um, will, you know, be paying and, and receiving what everybody else does. Uh, so are, are you talking about accounts that currently get more more than the normal amount of stipend because they're they're one of the older premiums? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean you can certainly upgrade your grandfathered account. Um, nothing will stop you from doing that, but there won't be any extra as a result of doing so. This is a, a new offering, so you know you won't you won't lose what you currently have if you stay premium. There's you know you'll still get the the extra stipend as a result. Um, but if you want to do the, the next thing, it'll go, yeah. Uh, I'm hoping for purple unicorns. I don't know for sure because that's, uh, that's largely the moles that put that stuff together. And I don't run the moles. But I have put in a strong, strong request for purple unicorns and ponies. I feel like, do the moles have their own user group? They might. Is there a land in SL, uh, SLDW user group? There might not be. They should. I mean, I know many of them are active in the community, right? Like the, the moles in particular are all um, Second Life power users, but uh, that that whole team, you know, from patch on down, they're all um, pretty active out there. So, I mean, if you if you had a particular question that you wanted to ask them, you could probably get an answer. Kira, who used to work, uh, used to run this this meeting, for example. Anyway, premium plus. Uh, more news incoming. I've, I've given out more than I probably should today, mostly because Lise, Lucy is so sad. You see, she's over there being super sad and salty. Um, and, but that being said, uh, we've been working on that. It should be, like I say, the, the timeline now is May, so I can, I can give that to you. Look for it in later May than earlier. Um, and then... Uh, we have continued working on the marketplace variants, which we are now calling styles. Uh, so expect me to use that, that nomenclature from here on out. Um, we were working on the, the front end, or we were just starting the front end last time, and we are largely through the front end now. So we expect to see that as well soon. Um, and then uh, we put a bunch, bunch of time into um, something that nobody actually likes, including us. Uh, we don't like it either, but it is required uh, by federal law. Um, we are now collecting sales tax from your recurring um, billings if you are in the US uh, largely. I know, we don't like it either, but uh, we are required to do so. So here we are. Um, for the record, uh, just in case it's it's at all confusing, we don't make any money off of that. Um, all of that goes back to the states, so this is you know kind of just a something we had to do. Um, so as a result, that that took up a lot of a lot of mind space and mind share. Um, and that's that's kind of the the what we've been doing for the past month. Um, 
going forward, we're still looking at the destination guide. We're also um, completely rewriting the, the land journey, what we're calling the land journey. So uh, the land store itself, anything from linen homes all the way up to, you know, buying and owning private regions. Um, we're we're going to completely overhaul that uh, because right now it's it's tough to figure out how to you know own your little piece of second life um, you know whether that is renting from somebody or whether that is you know actually owning a little piece of mainland or owning a big giant region all on your own um, it we don't make it super obvious right now and that's one of the things that uh, we as a company and me particularly. Uh, have agitated for fixing. Um, so we're going to do that. So that's also coming. Uh, our designers are working hard on that as we speak. Get don't look inside my head. It's a bad idea. The stuff that's going on in there is insane. Uh, Lucy, two things about that. One, um, we had meant to have it go out on the 31st. It didn't go out actually until Monday. Um, we had some issues with our nightly biller. So if you were, uh, expecting to get charged over the weekend, for example, uh, and didn't, that's, that's probably normal Two, um, oh, today, uh, well, um, it is possible that uh, the way that we have defined our offering is um, such that we don't need to charge you for that. Uh, so I will only say you're welcome. Uh, we've tried to make it as non, like as narrow a definition as possible so that we can charge as few people as possible uh, and still get away with it from the states. So um, I'm glad that that worked for you. I have a few like general questions that I'd love to get some answer from, answer about. Uh, minimum to be charged for incurring a sales tax. No, there's no minimum, I don't think. Although largely we don't set that uh, policy. Yeah, like I say, it's probably because of the way we've defined the product that you're actually paying for. Um, we've defined it in a way, you know, working with our lawyers and, and the states themselves, uh, we've defined it in such a way that you are not, uh, required to pay. Uh, support can help you. Yeah, absolutely. It kind of feels like you're complaining. I know you say you're not complaining. Oh, well that I can answer. If that's what you're worried about, you will not get billed back payments later. If we did not bill you this go around, you will not get billed for it. There's no retroactivity going on here. Promise, cross my hope, hope to die. I built this thing. There will be no back back payments. So, if that's what you're worried about, sleep sleep soundly tonight. So I have. I have a number of like questions here, um, and these are these are general questions. And if you'll all indulge me, I'd love to hear answers to all of these. Um, and uh, it's kind of a, a bit of an informal poll, but uh, feel free to just type them out. Um, but 
and, and it doesn't have to be long. Um, they can be short, uh, but, and then we can get to your questions. If only the forum had polls capability. I know, but I want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to the forums. I want to talk to y'all. Y'all are my people. So for example, like, do, do, do. Do, 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 do. There. How do you, oh, hold on. That, that was weirdly worded, but I think you would get what I'm trying to say. How do you find things, what to, to do in that cell? Forum people are strange. It's like balcony people. Like the group chat, I'm bored. I've done that. Oh, Anaris page to explore Sims. I like that. That's good, Panther. I would not have put that in my initial stuff. Yeah, no, I wasn't. I wasn't arguing that it wasn't true. Uh, I'm. I'm actually. I like that. It's a good answer. It's not one I had come up with previously. All right, I have another one. I like that ember. TJ, can I ask a follow up then? What makes you stay? In fact, that's my next question.
<laughs> Pantera, I will not tell anybody that you just submitted to griefing. But I'm watching you now. You can't have my cookies. They're my cookies. Zounds. This is a baseline question, but curious. And by SL client, Firestorm counts, or any other thing. Yeah, sorry. So it doesn't have to be the, the official SL viewer, just in general, navigating your way through SL. Lucy, anything we might happen to be looking for? Um, you know, like new groups, new friends, uh, events, regions, your own inventory, stuff on the marketplace, where to find your transaction logs, finding things. Lucy, can you tell me more about that? In fact, We'll make it an open-ended question.
Pantera. That makes sense. What time zone are you normally in? If you're willing to share. You don't have to. I'm not trying to locate you. Gotcha. Thank you. Ooh, Ember, that's an interesting thing. Do you find that that happens to you frequently? At least anecdotally, I would assume that doesn't happen too often. Interesting. At the risk of opening up a huge can of worms, why do you think that is, Ember? Yeah. Okay. Mars, what changes do you like? Can you be more specific about the changes to the economy in SL? Yeah, the gambling ban was a tough one for us, too. Um, obviously, that wasn't something that we chose. That was imposed upon us. Cool. Thank you all. Uh, I appreciate it. Um, I don't know what's going to come of those questions, that they're, they're the types of questions that um, I'd like to keep asking similar stuff. Um, and yes, I will probably also do forum polls. But we can start here. I like all of y'all. I think you've got good ideas.
Hope everything is voluntary. You don't have to answer. I'm not going to make you in. I'm not going to kick you out if you don't. Sure. Let's do it. We've got 20 minutes. Open the floodgates. Ask away. Let me look. Thank you for giving me a Jira. This makes me makes me happy. So the idea is, if you've already given a refund, don't allow them to request redelivery. Yeah, okay. I think we can prioritize that, yeah, sure. Ah, uh, we'll look into it, hope. See what we can do. Ooh, Tasty Beats, Dark Mode Marketplace. Ooh, that's a good thought. Some smart people seem like they should have thought of that. Hint, hint. Uh, Lucy, I spoke earlier, so on variants, variants coming. Variants coming. Soon. We're crushing on it right now. Not multiple stores, but multiple variants of the same item. So single listing for multiple things, right? Like I have a blue shirt, but also a red shirt and a white shirt and a green shirt. You're supposed to call that styles, Reed. I know. I said it earlier that we're supposed to call it styles. And then I forgot. Oh my goodness, what just happened there? Who spammed my chat window? All right, now you got to give me a little bit to read all these. No, yeah, I feel like you're trying to trap me into something legal, and I refuse. Uh, I will redirect you to our support team for these uh, so that it can get escalated up to the proper channels. Sorry. This, this appears to be waters that I should not and am not qualified to wade into. Um, more accurately as well, we don't choose here on the web team, we don't choose the names, we don't run any of that stuff. We did create the program that allows those names to be released, um, but we don't, we don't have any influence on that. So definitely submit all of those questions through a support case. 
and that'll get to get it to the right team. There's kind of a last names team. Um, it's it's largely actually handled through the product ops team, uh, which is Patch's team. I'm sure, y'all know about Patch. You can, and in fact, tell him I sent you. you can totally blame him. What else? Linden's tags next to threads, can there also be mole tags? Threads on the forums? That place that everybody just said that they don't use? I use the forums. Y'all were the ones saying that you don't use them. I just want to make sure I understand what the question is. Right. Um, there could maybe be a moles tag, I suppose. I, I don't see necessarily why not. It seems like a thing that feels fairly reasonable. I would suggest it as a feature request. Um, this is... <laughs> Unfortunately, even though it is on the web, we actually don't uh, run the forums. That's that's also through our support team, our community team, if you will. So, feature request, best way to get that get that to them. They sit in our triage. Uh, Neo, good question. Um, the answer to that, I believe, is yes. But I've heard conflicting reports about how that grandfathered status works. So let me answer that for you next time. Uh, let me get the, the answer to it, like specifically go get that answer for you. Um, and if you don't mind, I'll, I'll probably just uh, text you in world with it. Yeah, I, I want to maintain that too, but the, the, the software that kind of controls all that is picky uh, about who it wants to give the, the, the grandfather it stipends to. And I've heard, I've heard two different accounts of how that will work. I know I want to mold it to my needs too. That's why I became a product manager. Make things work the way I want them to. Lucy, you are just full of sunshine today.
Mars, which was your important question? Is it still coming, or, or were you trying to suggest that Neo's question was an important question? To which I agree, if that was the case. Right, yeah. No, it is an important question, and I agree. Um, I, will, I will have a, a definitive answer for that, I promise. I'm sorry that I don't. It's something that I should know the answer to. <laughs> yeah, Ember, sorry about that. Like I say, the, the code that runs all that stuff is very picky. That will almost certainly never happen. Like really, really fast. <laughs> but then you have to train forever in order to do that fusion dance for like seven episodes. It's the worst. Oh, what's the possibility? I mean, what, I, I can't give you a yes or no here. Um, it is a possibility. I don't, I don't see that happening anytime soon. So it's not on our current roadmap, if that's what you're looking for. Um, but maybe in the future, uh, maybe that could be a, a potential offering for, uh, for Premium Plus. Is if you already have a Plus account, then you can nominate one premium account to be at a lesser, a lesser price. The, the problem with that is, is that we already have uh, trouble verifying that, that people, you know, that accounts are alts um, and, and keeping that verified. Uh, it is, it's kind of messy um, on purpose, right? Like we don't, we don't necessarily want to uh, force you to tie all of your accounts together which doing this would necessarily require. So that's that's the only reason why I'm I'm not going to give you a firm yes or no there. Um, it's not as as straightforward as it sounds. Is the the implications of you know how alts are handled. Yeah. Similar to a friend referral, yeah. We used to have a referral um, program, and, and and I only know about that because there's there's pieces of it all over the place in, in the, the back end code. Um, but even though I've been here for eleven years, I don't I don't know that it was around when I started. I don't actually know what the referral program looked like when it did. Yeah, right. It seems like a thing we should have. Should reward people for referring. And it feels like we did at some point, but no longer do. Well, we got something to do with it. It's just hard to... Well, no, we could do it. If you're storing the refer and you're restoring the, the creation date and you're saying, yeah, they have to stay for XYZ time and log in XYZ times and maybe they're going to monetize and then you get some money for being a refer. I feel like we could track that, but meh. I, I don't want to backhand scope this out here. I think it's an interesting idea, Ember. How about that? <laughs> You've got me whiteboarding it in my head.
Yeah, this is old. 2008. It's well before me. I'm surprised you can get to this. Yeah, Pantera, that's that's what I'm remembering. There's there's a bunch of little pieces in the code that refer to referral bonuses. Got a whole script that was supposed to hand those out, but 2008's a long time ago. I, I do not have any historical knowledge about why that went away. Four minutes. Mm, good question. Um, so uh, they have suggested a number of things. Um, right now, we are working on upgrading our search instance to Python 3 uh, so that we can then um, have it hosted by uh, a third party, an expert third party. Uh, so that we don't have to maintain that search in instance, um, which we are, you know, have have in the past struggled to do. Um, how much is it going to cost? Uh, a lot, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> well, it's it's not going to cost you anything. Um, it'll cost us what it's going to cost. Uh, but all that money's already been spent. Um, and then uh, from there. They have rec they've recommended actually a recommendation engine um, that we will start building out. So I'm actually pretty excited about it. Good question. Ah, I, I have been told relevance engine, not recommendation engine. Sorry, that is correct. Dos minutos. Inara, anything from your readers? Fair enough. Have I said anything that didn't make sense? Right, right. Well, okay, in that case, um, gotcha. Um, I think we can call this, this a wrap. Thanks for coming, everybody. I'll see you all in May. <laughs>